the Sault Ste. Marie! We started our visit in the Sioux by exploring GROCAP in kayaks with Thrive Tours, Indigenous guided eco tours and education. Owners and operators Brad and Amanda guided us on an unbelievable day of adventure, food, and wonderful company. Lake Superior. En route to our next stop, we checked out the Rad Zone, a skate shop and store full of neat finds from the past. Everything from vinyl, books, movies, video games, and more. To end our first day in Sault Ste. Marie, we headed to Northern Superior Brewing Co. for a pint or two and enjoyed the beautiful patio and rooftop. Cheers. 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 Woo. Woo. Doing the Egwa Canyon train tour today. Woo. Woo. This iconic full day adventure takes you to Egwa Canyon Park, an area of wilderness north of Sault Ste. Marie. The canyon was created from faulting 1.2 billion years ago and was further eroded by Egwa River. The convenient and popular way to get to the park is by taking the full day train adventure. You can't drive there. Choo -choo. <laughs> During the four hour train ride to the canyon, you hear about facts and historic tidbits about the area. Keep your eyes on the markers outside along the tracks. At mile 92, the train crosses the Montreal River trestle, providing great views on both sides of the train and an opportunity to see the train from end to end as it curves along the track. At mile 102, the train descends into the Agawa Canyon floor. Soon, you'll see the Agawa River winding below and a beautiful view of Bridal Veil Falls on the right. in the canyon, do it all likes. You only get 90 minutes once you're in Agawa Canyon and we want to hit all the stops and all the hikes. So we did Bridalville Falls, we got Black Beaver Falls, and then we want to book it to look at and do as much as possible. So it's a hustle. Get it all done. Get, get it, it all done. It's a hurry up. Collect we the whole set. <laughs> Tony, 
we got some shots. Woo! Now, we're gonna go try and do the lookout! Woo! Getting the heart rate up. We're making it out. It's totally doable to do all three. Even stopping for some good photos of the train and beyond. We did it. Look at the view. Last few steps. We made it. With Roll. minutes to spare. Ooh, yes. All three, baby. Ten minute warning. Gotta head back to the train. A few tips if you're looking to go. Arrive early. Train cars are assigned, but not seats. Leaving from the Sioux, heading to the canyon, I found it best to sit on the right side of the train. Bring a book or something to do. The train ride provides lots of great facts and views, but it's a long day and there's no cell service. The train serves food and drink, or you can bring your own. Eat your lunch on the train so you can pack in as much as possible in the 90 minutes you have at the canyon. You have to hustle, but it's totally doable to see everything. Although we went too early to see the vibrant fall colors, the views of the canyon were still spectacular. I would highly recommend this full day adventure during the peak of fall colors, typically starting mid-September. Taking in a morning stroll along the waterfront in Sault Ste. Marie and the Roberta Bondard Pavilion. Next up, we're going to be jumping on Miss Marie for the lock tours in and around Sault Ste. Marie on the Canadian and US side. <laughs> we'll hang out on the front of the vessel and go up top just right here. Get a great view. There's tables and chairs at the back. And then go along in here inside. And they serve local brews from Northern Lake Superior. What a beautiful vessel. Going into the logs, and the water's gonna rise up and continue on. Raising us nearly seven meters or 21 feet to the level of Lake Superior. Going up, leaving Lake Huron behind and about to enter Lake Superior. You can see how high up we are now from the water level where we just came from. Canada to the U.S. I'll go my steel. American locks for all the big boats going through. There's a cool viewing platform here in the US to watch these locks. It's fascinating to see one of the huge shipping containers come through here. Four locks. Two are currently operational. Low now on the St. Mary's River into Lake Huron. By Superior! Docking back in Sault Ste. Marie! Woo! Awesome tour! 
you're in the Sioux, I fully recommend that you come on Miss Marie. It was a wonderful two hour tour going up the historic Canadian locks and then down the bigger US locks. Lots of awesome facts along the way, Oklahoma Steel, different history in boats and all of the good stuff. Plus the stop was amazing and the views and the boat were spectacular. Before hitting the road home, we had delicious Vietnamese food at Sunset Noodle House. Iced delicious Vietnamese coffee is my favorite Vietnamese coffee. It was really tasty. We are so full. It was wonderful sitting on this beautiful patio here in downtown Sault Ste. Marie. Thanks for joining the adventure in Sault Ste. Marie! Woo!